If you're going to take admission in 2023 and you're worried which branch you should be opting for, should that be computer science in artificial intelligence or computer science in IoT? In this video, we are going to discuss in detail what branch has to offer what and which one is going to be best for you. So what is the comparison criteria? We are going to compare these branches with what you're going to learn in these branches in these four years. Difficulty, then fresher salary, job positions, future scope of 2027, and finally the cost of education. So let's talk about artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is basically a machine capable of making decisions just like a human being. Right now you're able to hear me. You can also start creating the subtitles for this particular video just because you can hear me. This is what artificial intelligence can also do. So the examples if I talk about you can see it can do the language translation. It can trans uh, transfer. It can translate from language A to language B. It can do speech to text. So basically if I talk about YouTube subtitles, pause the video. You can see YouTube is able to generate the subtitles without me creating them. And finally, Google image search. So if you'll go to Google image and you will do a reverse image search. So you can find out something which is related to that image using the technology of artificial intelligence. If we talk about Internet of Things, so Internet of Things is more about smaller devices connected to Internet and they receive order from the central entity and they can send back the data to the central entity. A simple example would be home automation, smart bulb if we talk about these days we have smart bulbs which we can control from our mobile phone as well and barcode scanner you're standing in a queue you, you see a barcode scanner you scan the particular barcode and you can get all the information from that so these are the small examples of internet of things so now let's talk about what you will learn in artificial intelligence or iot in your college days so in artificial intelligence you will be learning about intro to artificial intelligence what exactly is artificial intelligence programming for artificial intelligence so obviously if you want to create something which can mimic like an artificial intelligence how you can program that then basics and advanced topics of machine learning one of the most important aspect of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence and humanity where we are different natural language processing so this is by far one of the most important concepts in artificial intelligence it's about how we process a language and finally deep learning now this is not a thorough syllabus if i talk about this is just a general idea more focused towards the artificial intelligence not including the other subjects now if i talk about internet internet of things so you can see electronic devices and applications you're going to learn you're going to learn about iot obviously embedded system instrumentation technique signals and sensors one of the most important aspect because this is more about hardware iot modeling and iot security which is obviously very very important now let's talk about the difficulty so like what will be the level of difficulty in these particular branches so if i talk about in artificial intelligence you must have a good programming knowledge so this is something you have to understand you have to pick a language secondly machine learning algorithm basics are must because artificial intelligence sits over machine learning so you have to make something related to that so the algorithm part has to be your strongest point comparing that to internet of things you have to have core hardware knowledge because without that internet of things is nothing and secondly hardware level of programming is must now this is where you have to decide what you can do and what you cannot do honestly speaking a majority of the students can actually feel artificial intelligence is bit simpler because you don't have to work in the hardware environment or you don't have to work with the hardware so this is where it can be a bit simpler now let's talk about the fresher salary so fresher salary in artificial intelligence is between 4 to 7 lpa and in internet of things is 3 to 7 lpa now this is just an average salary if i talk about but i do want to mention one thing this should not be your criteria of deciding okay i should be going with this branch or this branch because initial salary does not reflect what is your knowledge what is skill set and where you can go 
Now comes the question, what kind of positions you can expect in artificial intelligence? So you can become a research scientist, you can become an AI engineer, you can become an AI developer, you can become AI architect. Comparing that to IoT, some of the positions which we talk about is IoT security engineer, IoT embed engineer, IoT platform developer and IoT architect. Now let's talk about the most important point. What will happen in 2027 when I graduate? What will happen at that time? So during your graduation, or I would say completing your graduation, artificial intelligence will be worth $600 billion, while IoT will be $1,000 billion. Now point of caution, these two are very separate entities or i would say very separate branches you cannot compare you cannot simply say that since this has a better market share this is the right branch because obviously it is four years from now so you can imagine what may happen in that four years okay let's talk about the cost of education so in terms of cost of education if we talk about artificial intelligence you can expect around semester wise fees or i would say yearly fees between fifty thousand to one lakh fifty thousand and in Internet of Things, you can expect from 50,000 to 2 lakh 50,000. Now, word of caution, you have to understand this figure varies from college to college and location to location. So please make sure you are doing the research on your own as well. So to conclude this video, you can understand where artificial intelligence is standing and where IoT is standing. If I talk about my perspective, both the branches are good because the scope of growing yourself, scope of growing your career is increasing. A lot of big companies are hiring specific skilled person both in IoT as well as in AI. So you have to understand the room for scope, room for your career growth is immense. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and obviously share with your friends so that they can also learn about this. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.